Well, hello there, and thank you for tuning in to the Daily's Different Video on YouTube. This video was filmed during the global RD outages, and yes, I'm feeding birds at Lyford Reservoir, but also I'm about to do some plane spotting and more on the RT outages later in this video. Enjoy. Okay, I've just came back to the airport and during the making of this video, uh, what's been happening is that there's been some very hectic global IT outages that have been happening so far. At this moment, they're straightforward fixed, but unfortunately, not all places like this airport are obviously fixed. A lot of aircraft have been grounded and it's somehow pretty sad that there's not much aircraft activity going around. Uh, but we've got a plane landing. I can start to see one that's actually landing and the other thing is the wind direction has also changed. Um, what that changes is uh, instead of taking off from that way there, it's going to come towards me, I think. And I don't know what aircraft it is. And it's also very windy today. And because of the IT outages, that has been happening so far at this moment. I don't think we'll be seeing that much aircraft, but I think what I'm actually seeing much more so than the most is all of that cloud. It has taken all of that hot water away. But that being said, I'm only gonna be filming this shortly because you know, there's not only planes, but I think there might be some rain real soon. Hope not, but we'll see what the outcome is like. And that plane at the distance is somehow I can see that little white speck uh, just right here where my finger is. See that little white bright speck? That's a plane, but we'll see what it is. And guess what's about to take off? Air France. Um, I think is it an Airbus A220? It's one of the newest aircraft, the newest kids in the blocks of the new, it's probably the newest aircraft I've probably have seen so far in my lifetime, but here it comes, and there's a plane coming to land here, and then we'll see which one it actually is. Yep, straightforward taxiing. It's a much quieter day today because, you know, uh, the wind direction has changed. And, oh, it's just landed. Landed very nicely. In fact, 
going by the looks of it, it looks all totally and utterly different. And I can hear lots and lots of birds chirping outside. I think the birds I can hear are linnets, but at the distance I can just hear a plane landing. I don't know what airline this is, nor whatever aircraft that is. And the wind's taking over my spot. We'll see what aircraft that is. Um, Ryanair. No surprise, it's a 737, and it's also Ryanair. No surprise at all. And we've also got another plane taking off. Uh, it's a TUI. I think it's a Boeing 737. Yes, this place is, of course, a major, major, major hub for Boeing 737s. Who knows, I could definitely say I had it enough. With all the 737s bailing out of Birmingham Airport. It's just beyond outrageously crazy seeing that. Anyways, who knows, I'm about to watch that Air France plane taking off. I'm looking forward to it. And the Bonaire 737 is just taxiing, like so. And just beyond windy, oh my god. Absolutely windy. Unfortunately, there's not much I could potentially say here. It's the wind taking over my camera in terms of audio.
Okay, it looks like to be a Jet 2 Airbus A321. Is it the Neo version? Or is it the older version? I can't really tell. And on the background is a TUI Boeing 737. That's just waiting uh, for confirmation of all the outages that's been happening. And the camera is straightforward, playing annoying. And it's just wanting to make my videos a lot more worse and blurry than before. It's just beyond outrageous. Pretty painful every weekend, isn't it? Very painful. Whenever I do filming like this. But as you can see, there's a taxing jet super like this. And it's actually quite boring. Uh, because of the global outages that we're having at the moment and also because of you know of the uh, the wind change it's very much more so boring when you have you know planes that are taking off from here via the gravel pits versus landing at Sheldon Country Park but I'm gonna go and just climb just a bit whoa I'll just be very steady not to go too close to that edge of the gravel pits. I'll try not to um, go near further across through these gravel pits because there can be some very dire consequences here. And I'm off to probably stand very briefly there because it's dangerous and it's probably best said that I just have to refrain from it. Okay, I've just got out from the uh, edge of the gravel pits and I've actually noticed there's another plane coming to land and it's an Aer Lingus ATR720 plane about to land like so and yeah not much you can say isn't it just pretty boring well it's like that isn't it uh, it's quite dismal and abysmal when the global IT outages are like that maybe they could just go off again going off like that you know the, the power outages on the airports inside is just it's just shockingly horrid but we can only hope for the best of what's to come for this year and yeah I'll tell you what it's been one of the biggest tech disasters ever since the millennium bug that's hitting us and we'll see what plane it is and we've got a Ryanair Boeing 737 which I presume is the same one. I probably guess this one's going to Faro in Portugal. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, oops, sorry about my camera, it's gone a bit floppy, eh? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I presume it is. And, in fact, apart from this plane here taxing the Aer Lingus ATR-720, we've got another Ryanair. Look at that, we've got two Boeing 737s just about to take off. Just beyond outrageously absurd. I mean, look at the Ryanairs. There's <laughs> just a parade of them. Um, Ryanair is Irish, I think, as a low-cost airliner, because I can definitely tell by the Guinness Harp, I think on the tiles, that's what they've got, and that's why they're Irish. I think the harp is very much an Irish and Celtic sort of icon, and that's why it's located just at the tail of the plane, and maybe even the whole logo. Look at that, look at the 737s, they're all just parading towards each other, uh, actually at a distant towards each other, they're just parading distantly. Now uh, the TUI one is just sitting there just, I don't know what's going on, um, I don't know what the hell is going on with that 737, uh, can anybody explain to me please why is that plane just slouching right here, you know this TUI Boeing 737, I do not know why the hell is it slouching, it, it's just stuck in this rut, it just won't move on, I just want to tell it, just come on just clear off. Well, anyways, getting away from it though. Lots of pigeons outside today. 
But anyways, beyond that point, let's take a look at one of the planes and see how it goes. I'm going to go ahead and climb up just above this gravel pit. I'll just be around there for just a short while. And we've also got a lot of vehicle action going around here. I can see a fire truck going around here. I think that's how airport fire trucks look like. And this one's about to take off. Although I do feel like there could be another plane coming to land. That's my gut feeling. Alright, here we go. Let's keep quiet and see one of those Ryanair 737s bio out of Birmingham. I might just get out of this gravel pit here, just to be very safe. Right, here we go. And I need to go westwards so that I can just see the plane taking off. Here it comes. Whoa, it's just, it's just literally cleared instantly. Well, here it comes. Pretty fast. And then just walking back eastwards, we've got another plane landing. Uh, strangely enough, uh, the majority of this airport, I think the majority of the airliners that come to this airport, they're mainly low-cost or domestic flights. Mainly that part too. A lot of interesting birds outside. Let's see what plane is it going to be. I can hear some thrashing sounds coming at the airport. Oh wow, a lot of thrashing sounds. Oops, I've just farted. And there's a strange motorcycle sound here. I can see some pigeons. Lots of wood pigeons outside. And I can hear a motorcycle in the background. Crikey's. Yep, another Boeing 737 and it's by Jet2. How unsurprising is that? There seems to be so many 737s in this airport, you know, it's ridiculous. I always used to remember seeing a KLM 737 back then, but now I don't. It's just beyond absurd. Oh, going uphill. Oh, there's another plane landing, or coming to land. Oh, I need to get down.
and a curious visitor. A little magpie has decided to have a bit of a curiosity over this dilapidated development. Yeah, apparently the skies have been very horrid. I mean, look what's going on. Look at the clouds here. They've just taken over so much of the sunshine here. Just horrid. Probably be presuming it's a private jet. Yeah, there's actually been not that many takeoffs. It's just beyond horrendous. I mean, what else can you say about this airport trip? There's no, not that much in the way of planes. There's no more big gatherings of planes. Last week, it was filled with them, but this week is just beyond abysmal. Not much you can really say here, it's also windy and dull. I mean, that's a very perfect picture to describe. Or oh, whatever the hell is going on here. I think in random suspension, it seems like that um, we've got a plane coming to land, but I do not know what plane it is. Yes, just beyond how ugly today has been so far with the global IT outages, I'm afraid. I mean, look at the car park. It's also just beyond crowded. And also, yes, um, to tell you this, as this plane has just started to land, and with the wind taking over, it's just absolutely horrendous. Whoa, that plane's just landed, but I don't know what it, what aircraft it is.
Okay, I'm gonna go down here again. It's crazy, isn't it? Just completely and utterly absurd. I mean, can you see how busy it is? No. And on the inside, it actually is very busy. I tell you what, there's not many flights here. In fact, because of the IT outages that have been going around at this moment, it's been very poor for plane spotting. And I mean, it's a huge disappointment compared to like the previous weeks so far in July. I mean, that's terrible. Completely and utterly terrible. And what's even more even disappointing so far and quiet so far beyond today is that it's pretty much like the aftermath of what happened yesterday and Thursday. Just horrendous. I mean inside in Birmingham airport there would have been like millions of people in that airport. Like there's lots and lots of people queuing for their their flights all the way across Europe I think. That's mainly where they always go to. And it's just sad, just really, really sad that the IT problems inside that airport have caused a whole bunch of confusion and delay, and it's straightforward, it's destroyed everything. There's nothing I can really say about it. There's nothing I can really write home to mum about it. And not many planes. It's a complete and utter joke compared to, like, the previous two weeks ago. I mean, look at it. Just beyond shafting. And I mean, it's also the start of the school holidays. Man, when will things will get better is going to be a complete telltale sign that nothing is going to get better as time flies by. You may think it is, but unfortunately, no. And there's a plane coming to land. Can you see that white speck? Right over in the middle here with my little finger. It's that thing there. Right, here we go. Let's zoom out and see whatever aircraft that is. I might do a jump cut as well. Seems like we're getting more arrivals than departures, which is just beyond disappointing. But, the aircraft that has just landed, let's take a fairly closer look at it. Not literally, but it's... Yes, it's another Jet 2 Airbus A321. Again, another similar aircraft that I've seen before. It's always these airports, it's always these airliners, isn't it? They're always like that, aren't they? I can also see there's a turboprop plane that's also about to take off. I can also hear a church bell on the eastern side of where I, I'm actually spotting planes at.
I think it's an air Oregony sort of plane. It's going to the Channel Islands, that's where it's going to, I think. Yeah, you can actually tell it's actually quite a relatively small airport. I think I can do you see there's a hint of blue here. I probably guess it's Tui. Yep, it's another seven three seven from Tui. And we've got a Ryanair 737 as well. I've just went down from the gravel pit edge. I think I just stood a little bit too long at the edge of the, of the gravel pit. Um, we've got a plane taking off. And another 737 is the side of the taxi. Oh my god. Cockies. I seeing a massive parade of 737s, and you just two of them, of course. Back up again. And yeah, you can definitely see there's not many flights at this airport at, at, at all. It's just beyond crazy. It's just like the virus times. I mean, look how many flights there are. Luckily enough, there's no COVID in a sense. It's all just, you know, outage. And it's even more ludicrous as it sounds. Another two Boeing 737s decided to take off. Oh my God. Who knows what's wrong with this whole bloody airport? I hope things are going to get better when CrowdStrike is going to, you know, fix things up. And if they don't, they're better off be um, discontinued, as far as I'm concerned.
since the plane's about to take off. Just unsurprising just to see how many 737s are there at this airport. So good just to film lots and lots of 737s taking off apart from the bloody wind taking over my audio.
suffer some very dismal skies. We're about to see a bit of a hint of sunshine. Yeah, just as I filmed, that was actually quite a near bird strike. You know those sneaky pigeons? They always just keep on flying close to that damn plane. They would have got killed by that incident. That was a Vueling Airbus A320. That's actually quite a rare visitor to our airports. Well, apart from the fact that this airport is seeing a major IT outage crisis going on here, guess who's decided to come out? It's the Emirates A380! Hooray! Oh my goodness me! The behemoth of all aircrafts. It's about to buy out of Birmingham. I bet people are going to be fairly excited when they see that. So nice seeing the largest aircraft to visit Birmingham Airport. I think the other aircraft I'm actually fairly proud of is the Boeing 747. You can definitely check out one of the other videos on YouTube. It's so fantastic to watch. Oh man, it's so nice seeing the Emirates A380. It's just beyond amazing. And look at that, it's doing the rounds. Taxiing all the way. Uh, I don't know which. I think it's going to go further ahead. That's why I'm probably presuming. Since it's going this way, it's going to probably um, head to the furthest part of the runway and take off at great speed. That's what I'm thinking of. It's going to take off exceptionally fast.
Yeah, there's been lots and lots of wind. It's attacking my camera so persistently, I do not know when it's going to stop. And I don't know if there's any rain. Going by the looks of those clouds, could probably be some sort of thunderstorm in the cards here. Um, although it's a bit cooler, I probably presume there could be a storm coming in its way. gonna make my way down. I can't wait to see this massive aircraft. Oh, there's more planes coming. We got a Ryanair 737 and we've got a Turkish Airlines A321 taxiing. But look who's taking off. It's the Emirates A380. Woo! <laughs> can't believe how excited I am. Let's just watch this thing bail out of the airport. Let's see how it goes. How many airports? Like, Delayed so far, there's been a lot of floods being delayed so far this year, but okay. Too excited. In fact, I'm actually too excited.
tell you what, this terrain here is actually so rugged, and guess what I found? Oh, that's one of those bubble ones. How cute is that, eh? Might take it home and have a bit of a play around with that thing. How cool is that, eh? I'm actually wearing my dad's coat, though. Um, yeah, because I forgot to bring my coat today. I thought it was going to be a, a warm or hot day, but unfortunately it isn't. Um, but guess what? We've got more planes. We've got... All of a sudden there's an Aer Lingus ATR-720 plane that's also about to take off. I might film that too. My crocky, so who knows the airport is actually coming back to normality. I'm pretty sure about that. The propellers look a little bit static on footage, just beyond hilarious. 
it's so funny that they just look so static in in that kind of footage when in reality I'm just seeing it from above it's moving just weird isn't it anyways um, we've also got another plane that's about to take off I think it's one of those private jet planes I think it's a CIJ something well Bomber Raider I think that's the German aircraft company I guess but, uh oh, we've got rain on the carts here. I think we've got a bow out here because I presume there's gonna be a rainstorm coming out. I'm off to probably make this the last footage uh, because we've got some rain falling here. I'm off to probably um, bow out of the car, uh, bow out towards the car here, bow out of this place before the rain takes over. God damn it. Things don't, they don't always go well, don't they? No. Maybe I need to hop towards KFC and have some chicken. Or to a Middle Eastern restaurant. Like that, you know what, hey? Yeah, hardly any planes uh, today so far. It's just beyond... Pretty disappointing. <laughs> yeah, it's it's beyond that part. Well, I'll tell you what, it's just beyond disappointing so far this year's summer. What can you say? Nothing but but rain and cold and also the IT problems that have just started to kick around during the summer holidays and guess what? We got a two Boeing 737 and look where it's about to taxi to. It's about to, um, where's it going? Is it gonna be going back to like the normal way? Of flying and stuff? Oh no wait, it's actually turning towards here. I thought it was gonna come, you know, towards this section here. That's where normally the majority of the planes would have just taken off from here this way, instead of coming out towards me, I think. Like, not actually flying towards me, but, uh oh. I think we've got a problem going on here, we've got rain, we might have to probably get inside here and I'll probably call this, uh, so far, it's probably about it, I think I had enough filming for today, so I better leave this video here, please give this video a like, subscribe for more from time videos in the future, and as always, thanks so much for watching, and goodbye for now. There you go, this is the last plane I'm actually going to be putting up in this video. I'll just let it take off. It's going to fly into the storm.